My name's Mike Rowe. And this is my job. I explore the country looking for people who aren't afraid to get dirty. Does it have to be pigs? What about a school play? Hard-working men and women who earn an honest living. Sorry, you just shot your lord. First time that's ever happened. <laughs> Doing the kinds of jobs that make civilized life possible for the rest of us. Now get ready to get dirty. What? Coming up on Dirty Jobs. If you think your job is a pain in the you-know-what, just be glad you don't work at the Morales Ranch. Is it cactus or cacti? Technically cacti. We're getting into thorny situations. Look at this. There's a growing in solid granite rock. Is the whole composing flesh? These were uh, salmon at one point. Maggots love that. Fine dining is a relative concept. And all that protein, I've probably got the squirts. This isn't yeah. sawdust, it's toilet paper. Yeah, that'd be a good way to put it. Oh, God. Arizona. Am I following someone? Or? No, you're leaving. Where are we going? Uh, that way. I'm glad we're spending a lot of money on big cars. We're supposed to have four-wheel drive for this year, but no one ever told me that. Great. This is silly. We have this little tiny car, this big giant Mad Jam, and this is our budget. When they give you lemons, you make lemonade. This desert used to be filled with gold. Now landowners are prospecting their own property for a new kind of treasure, one that's been hiding right in plain sight. We're here. Man, I'm sorry you couldn't feel that, but coming up that road, smooth. <laughs> coming up. This is custom. Homemade. The lift gate pump out of a two-ton truck. The rest of this is scrap steel from one of the steel places in Phoenix. Look at this. It's growing in solid granite rock. That root is in the rock? Yep. It'll go right through, crack, split the rock. Root in the rock. Rats. And you can see how soft the roots are there, Sid. Yeah. Now, how important is it to preserve the roots you have, or does it matter? So this is kind of like a family bonding thing for you guys, huh? How many guys get to work with their dad and their sons all the time? It's a real treat. He says. Yeah, my grandfather knew. He was born in 1878. He died in 1976. He's 98. If he knew that we were selling rocks and cactus and stuff, he wouldn't believe it. Maggots. Getting touchy-feely with things no one wants to touch. Go ahead, spank it. Spank it. Spank that thing. Hey, guys, turn it over. Great. Okay, that's it. Bad maggot. There's something about having a big hose that makes walking. How you doing, Mike? Not good. And working. Very difficult. You're supposed to spray the ground. It can't be that easy. Sure. We just rained. We're lucky. Got to be three and a half feet deep at least. If you get tired of uh, what you do, you can come help us. Take that under advisement. Okay, you got two feet, four. <laughs> what I hate to do is dig too far. That's it. That's all the way down. All right, let's shove some dirt down in there without any of these pieces up. We're getting close now, guys. I had a lady that I planted one, and she, she told me where and marked the spot. I planted it by her pool. She came out. I moved it over that far this way. Oh. And we did. That's why oh. I the country where a fisherman will put a hook through his bottom. And later, we make an omelet for one. No, we're making fly food. Special recipe. Breaking eggs to make eggs. Those are eggs? These are eggs. That's what's going to hatch into our maggots. And a twist on an age-old question. Well, what comes first, the egg or the, uh, the blue bottle fly? <laughs> There's a fine line between poor Wrangler. Try and put little sacks over their heads. They don't like that. It's not the weirdest thing I've done all day, to be honest. With you. Hi, Amber. Hi. I brought some food for your flies. Okay. Just put it over there. Anywhere's fine. Good. Okay, so we're unsetting the blows right now. We just want to try and get all the flies off. Hey, they're just another one of God's creatures, right? Well, how about ticks? Should we be nice to them? Oh, yeah. Sure. Leases? Oh, yeah. Sure. Parasites, the kind that live in your bowel. Should we be nice to them? I'm sure there's some reason they exist. Yeah, we, we eat bad chicken. That's why. Okay, good yeah. enough. And then that's pretty much ready to vacuum out. Well, fire that thing up. I say we suck them all into oblivion. I caught a big one, Amber. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, really. You came out of your shell, like a larva. I love the flypaper. It really is. It's a, it's a great think? reminder to those who might be contemplating escape. Next stop for the eggs is the growing room, where with proper nourishment, they'll hatch into maggots. In this place, though, proper means pretty much the same thing as disgusting. This is the grinding room. She's a beaut. Isn't that good? These were, uh, were salmon at one point? No, those, those are chum salmon. These basically were probably done for salmon roll for the uh, uh, egg market for Japan. Maggots love that. That's all protein. <laughs> Nobody cares about the maggots. The term of affection is Maggie's. Yeah, that's what uh, Ashley was saying, except that's my mom's name. It's Amber. Whatever. The important thing is she's not here now. No, she's not. She's gone. Oh, there she is. There she goes. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> you all showered up? You smell pretty? Great.
So this is the packing department. It is. It is. Yep. This is the container we measure them in. Mm -hmm. It's done. It's done. It's done. This is the crimper. Ah! <laughs> Good job. We've learned a lot today. We've learned how to turn white maggots to pink. Right. Turn how to the, the flies and the in the pupae, the larvae, and the thing and the heat and smell. It's been very instructive. We're glad to have you. It's great to be had. <laughs> good luck with this and goodbye. Good luck. Goodbye. Dennis. Yes. That's some kind of team you got going in there. Those girls. They are they are the best. Man, oh man. I don't know how your business could possibly do anything other than succeed like crazy. That that's April and Pam at the helm. That's right. We got? have a a uh, certificate for you. A master of maggotology. Right. Presented to Micro for completing thoughtful thinking and stinking. Fork a tree ranch signed by you and your wife. Right. This is going to be framed. And I, I understand that you guys are always looking for something to snack on, right? No, we're desperate for food. So we'll anything, yeah. I thought that I would give you this bucket, bucket of salmon roll. It's cat Here's another. It's Nate Farsky eating 52 inches of sweet bologna. One bite at a time. He's vowed to consume the entire tube of meat unless you go to discovery.com forward slash dirty jobs and suggest my next dirty adventure i don't think he's bluffing i've never known him to bluff before and if you know the show you know the boy will eat just about anything <laughs>